As an engineer, you need to design sheet metal components respecting company standards, material standards, standard design parameters, standards for manufacturing and tooling, and standard design rules. So it's not just about designing a part. It's about being able to take into account sheet metal specifications and manufacturing constraints early in the design phase to avoid errors and manufacturing issues. Now we'll look at a short video to illustrate the full end-to-end -end process. The task is to create the sheet metal part of a tablet PC, to structure and assemble the components such as the screen, the plastic casing, the hard disk and battery. Cathea V6 sheet metal boosts flexible modelling capabilities from design to manufacturing. So first I examine the full 3D model on screen. I select the design context needed and open it directly in the authoring session. The product is flexible and intuitive, allowing me to put ideas directly into an industrial context, as defined by my sheet metal parameters such as thickness, bend radius and k-factor. Now I start my design, defining overall the dimensions of the part. Then, quickly and accurately, I draw the cutout in the right context. I create a bend, I select the corresponding edge, pull and set the right dimension. I don't have to redefine the bend radius and the thickness, my industrial environment automatically applies my sheet metal specifications. So I'm easily creating the folded parts simply by pushing and pulling faces. I want to add new cutouts, so I instantaneously unfold my design in order to define them easily in the flat representation. I can work concurrently on both views and switch between them at any time. So a simple and intuitive user interface with only the applicable functions visible depending on your selected objects. Now I've finished the base of my sheet metal part and I'll share it with my colleague and ask him to add advanced details. I use the V6 collaboration tool to refresh his session and load my part into his environment. Now we can review the job together directly in Katia. He can complete the design with advanced sheet metal features such as walls, flanges, stamps and cutouts. And he's using the same industrial environment as me, which increases flexibility and facilitates collaboration. To create cutouts, it's generally easier and more accurate to switch to the unfolded view. Then he switches back to the folded view to add stamps from his library, preset according to the company standards. Using these process-oriented features, he is able to take manufacturability constraints into account earlier in the design phase. Now we are entering a new collaboration session to proceed to a design review. My colleague refreshes my session and takes control to show me the result. He wants me to correct the design. And to clarify which part has to be modified, he annotates and highlights the area I should rework. Collaboration becomes easier and more efficient, thus decision time is shorter. As with clay modelling, just by pushing and pulling, I create the required bends, still compliant with the manufacturing parameters defined in the environment.
And now it's done, I'll share the modification through the collaboration. I select the updated features and send them to my colleague. He quickly analyzes the impact with a preview. And then decides to merge the designs. He reuses templates which contain company standards and knowledge. He's now finishing the design, adding detailed features to it to complete it and prepare it for manufacturing. Using the manufacturability check, he can easily detect overlapping material and correct the highlighted areas. To certify design compliance, he runs checks based on company rules. The red light specifies which part of the design has to be improved, and here a circular stamp is too close to a surface stamp. The checklist is now complete. The part manufacturing view encloses manufacturing specifications derived from engineering specifications. He can generate the dedicated sheet metal drawings for manufacturing as well as a seamless nesting and cutting export in DXF format. These are dedicated drawing capabilities including the unfolded view, automatic sheet metal annotations and specific settings. So this sheet metal part has been started with an intuitive and easy to use product. The design was completed with advanced process oriented features and prepared to manufacturing levels of detail. We have been flexible throughout this process and during all the exchanges and updates because we've worked on the same industrial environment from the conceptual design right through to the manufacturing.